Welcome to the Connections Online Tutorial for the US Edition. In this video, we will do an example of an L connection in the software. In this example, we will be designing a double top plate splice connection which could be used as a collector in a shear wall. First things first, let's go to the lab shear section, wood to wood, and then select NELF fasteners in the splice to member subcategory. By doing so, you will be redirected to a page where details can be entered for both the wood members and the connectors. Before being able to design the NELs or any connectors, you have to specify both the main and side members of the connection and input a factored load. In this example, we will set the properties for both our wood members to 2 by 6 inches of number 2 SPF lumber with dry service condition and non-treated. When specifying the side member details, an additional input is available which is specifying the length that the side member will overlap the main member. For the purpose of this example, we will set that length to 48 inches which is typical in the top plate of a shear wall. Once the member details are inputted, you have to enter a load in order to start designing the nails. By adding an 1800 pound load, the software will generate the illustration of the system you are designing. You can view that illustration on a bigger scale by clicking the diagram button in the toolbar as well as the 48 inch overlap previously defined. The connection software allows you to specify the connector details or to leave them as unknown. If unknowns are left, the program will cycle through all the available connectors that passes the design and choose the most economical option. After running the design and going to the results page, the software displays the suggested nail type, length and diameter, as well as its configuration. As you can see, this connection requires 4 rows of 5 nails per row, with 2.22 inch spacing within the rows and 0.74 inch spacing between the rows for a total of 20 nails. This information is located under the connection data, which displays the configuration of our members. The additional data can be found at the bottom of the table, which contains the adjustment factors and yield limit values for various failure modes. When accepting the design, all of the information that was generated will be transferred in the detail window. By configuring your own connector information and running the design, if the connection detail fails the applied factored load, a warning appears in red. Whether the system has failed or not, you can always check the results page to see the total null capacity versus the total factored load and other useful information that I mentioned earlier.